So because of its very obvious health and mental benefits, Falun Gong developed very fast in China then. Within only seven years of, since its first introduction to the public, there were more Falun Gong practitioners in China than the Communist Party members. And we have to remember, this is a one-party nation. The party never allowed that some, some such a large group, all of its ideological control, the party would never allow people are believing more in truth, compassion, and forbearance other than the party. So in July 1999, the Communist Party launched a, an overwhelming crackdown against Falun Gong. People were mass arrested, thrown into the prison without trial, tortured, murdered, and even killed on demand for their organs. And they were also thrown into labor camps without trial, like me. When the crackdown first started, I couldn't believe this is happening. What, that the party, which is always glorious, always great, always great, would do such a evil thing to its own people. Nor did I ever imagine that this kind of thing would one day happen to myself, also a party member, and you could count me as an elite of the society because I worked for the Development and Research Center of the State Council. It actually is a policy study and a research body for the government, for the State Council. 